Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Thank you for coming back to another another episode of Scatter Brilliancy. My name is Travis, and we're going to call this Bedside Talk. Um, I've seen in the news everything about Keisha Knight Pulliam and Ed Hartwell, and I wanted to make a quick video about it. Um, so for those who don't know what's going on, backstory, Keisha Knight Pulliam was on the Cosby Show. She played Rudy, and Ed Hartwell uh, was married to... Lisa Wu Hartwell from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, seasons one and two. Um, they had a child together, and then they got a divorce. Um, Keisha has no children up until, you know, well, technically still doesn't have any children. Either way, um, it, like, l earlier this year, we kind of just up and found out that Keisha Knight Pulliam and Ed Hartwell had gotten married. And... For, I guess for most of us, it was kind of out of the blue. You know, there wasn't like a celebrity couple that people knew about. Um, for a lot of people, the last they ever heard of Keisha dating anyone was Big Tigger from, you know, radio and BET. So Ed and Keisha being together was kind of like a, a shock and nobody kind of really knew where they came from. And then, you so we found out they were married. And then just like last week, we found out she was pregnant. And then today or yesterday, we found out he had filed for divorce. My battery's at 15%. This is not going to make it. And the reason why I wanted to make a video is because there's a lesson in this for a lot of people. You know, not just women, not just men. And the lesson is you need to fully get to know somebody before you decide to marry them. Um, one thing that I kind of feel like I see too much is people who just kind of rush into things and don't take their time. Now, on one hand, I don't believe that there is a specific time limit that is you need to be dating for three years or five years before you get engaged i don't believe that there's any of that but i do believe that there is a minimum of time that you need to kind of be with someone and getting to know someone before you decide to to make that next step you know i i, I do believe that you can fall in love with somebody overnight however just because you fall in love with somebody overnight doesn't mean you necessarily have to marry them overnight and unfortunately it seems like that's what may be happening in this situation um, both of them have done interviews about, you know, what really happened. You know, he says she just wanted a baby and she says he lied about who he was. And there may be truth in both sides. You know, as far as the truth, there's three sides. But um, don't be quick to rush into a relationship because you want a baby or because you just want to be loved or because you just want to be married, because you want to be a husband, because you want to be a wife, you know, don't. I truly believe that your intention for being in a relationship, a marriage, whatever, your intention has to be the same as the person who you're in a relationship with. I've said it before. You got to be going in the same direction. You got to want the same things out of life. And you got to know who you're with. Now, I, I don't believe that you can fully get to know somebody, you know, in the time that you're dating. In the time that you're engaged, you know, my wife and I, we're still getting to know each other. We still discover new things about each other, you know, throughout this process. But I know that when we went down the aisle, when she went down the aisle, because I didn't go down nobody's aisle, I stood at the top. When we got married, that I had a pretty good idea of who she was and what she wanted to do and what she wanted. Now, that doesn't mean that tomorrow she can't just flip on me and, you know, turn into a completely different person. That's definitely possible. But to me, the likelihood of that happening is less because we've spent the amount of time together that we have. Um, you know, we knew we met in college. We met our sophomore year in college in 2008. And we didn't like for real, for real, date until seven years. Now, granted, you know, we didn't really know, know each other, but we knew of each other, knew a little bit about each other. And then we took our time to get to know each other. And we dated for about a year and then got engaged or engaged for over a year. And then, you know, now we're married. So we've had time to get to know each other. I don't believe that you can really get to know somebody like that in a matter of months. I don't. You know, I think the situation is very unfortunate because here she is pregnant and divorcing. Four months pregnant and divorcing. You've been married six months. You're four months pregnant and you're already getting divorced. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. And I think that this is something that a lot of people can learn from as far as what not to do. Like, don't be so quick to, to be in a relationship, in a marriage and rush into all that kind of stuff. It's not worth the drama that comes with it. Take your time to get to know people and to know what their intentions are. It'll save you a lot of trouble. Like, rank, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.